What's up everyone, it's uh, Cloud again, and as you can see, we're going old school, we're going, uh, sorry if my voice ranges, I'm recording this on a camera, but we're going old school, Square Electronic Arts, how old is that? But this is my new Let's Play, it's like a pilot type Let's Play, so as you can see it's Disney Interactive, Squaresoft, what? Squaresoft's been gone for a long time. Sorry, let me adjust this. It's not getting all the screen. So maybe I have to pull it back. Oh, snap, son. It's Kingdom Hearts. So let me try to get this whole screen. I think that's almost there. Again, we're going to have this better later. So we're going to go new game. We're going to expert difficulty. Uh, we're playing on PS3, so I don't have, and I don't have a DualShock 3 because I broke it. Um, so we're gonna go. Let me turn down the volume. Actually, you guys probably don't want to hear it this loud. So. We don't need the vibration setting. And we're gonna proceed. So I decided to come at you guys with the new Let's Play. Um, mainly, haven't played Kingdom Hearts in a while, so I thought it would be awesome to go through again and just do like a practice of PS3 Let's Play with this or things like that. Um, Kingdom Hearts is quite possibly my favorite game series of all time, so let's just watch and enjoy the intro. Oh, young Haley Joel. So I know the intro is the intro, but this is actually part of the game now, so. Um, I actually remember when this game came out, it was like, holy shit. Um, I think I was just finishing my senior year of high school when this game came out, and everybody thought I was a nerd for playing a game with Disney characters, but you know what? Laughs on them now because they're all playing it seven games later. And for PS2 graphics, this was really cool. Oh, we're swimming. We're swimming. Yeah, I just remember just nostalgia now playing this. Um, I literally remember looking at this game when I was 18 and saying, hey, nothing will ever get better than this. And uh, it's kind of true, like nothing's really come close game-wise to the Kingdom Hearts series for me. Yeah, it's convoluted and they keep making stuff more complicated than it needs to be, but uh, you know what, it's one of the best series and I have to give it to them um, for continuing with the series. But the one thing I'm frustrated about is there's no 3 yet. But hopefully, um, after they do 1.5 and possibly, they're probably going to do 2.5 anyways. But after they do 1.5 and 2.5, hopefully by the year 20, what, 14, 2015, we have, uh, we have good old... Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out because uh, Dream Drops Distance kind of just set that up and now I need to know what happens. Um, so yeah, I've played every single game in the Kingdom Hearts series if you've been wondering and I've played them all extensively. Um, last time I played one though was probably like 2005 so this is like a full fresh uh, walkthrough for me. Um, so here we go, we're just about to get started. And uh, I'm going to do longer videos this time, I decided. They're not going to be like little 15 minute clips. Um, they're probably going to be half hour each. Maybe a little bit longer. I'm thinking about doing one world at a time. But uh, we'll see how it goes. And we'll see how this intro goes. So. And here we are, Dive of the Heart. So much to do. So little time. Take your time. Don't be afraid. You know, I can barely hear the music myself, so the door is still shut. 
and we'll leave it at 40. Now step forward. Can you do it? Use the left analog stick, tilt, hold harder to run. We're just going to run. So what's going on? Oh shit, stuff to do. Power sleeps within you. If you give it form, it will give you strength. So choose well. Um, this basically chooses our paths. Um, press circle to jump. All right, we're jumping. Okay, I'm jumping. I'm jumping with my odd little jump, okay. So you want me to, oh, I gotta jump on him, that's right. We want the sword. The power of the warrior. Invincible courage. A sword of terrible destruction. Is the power you seek? Yeah, let's see what the others say. I know if you do it, you just get skills in a different order. The power of the mystic. Inner strength. A staff of wonder and ruin. Is this the power you seek? Nope. Oh yeah, I gotta get used to these cameras. I'm used to new school gameplay, but old school gameplay is totally the best. Come on, get on there. Get on there. The power of the guardian. Kindness to aid friends. A shield to repel all. Is the power you seek? Nope. We're going warrior. Yeah, we've already seen this. Just give me the goddamn weapon. Give me the weapon. Give Sora the weapon. Yes. Your path is set. Now, what will you give up in exchange? Um, I really don't use a lot of magic in this game. Now watch, this playthrough I'll use it. Power of the Mystic, Inner Strength, a Staff of Wonder and Ruin. Good. Yes. You've chosen the power of the warrior. You've given up the power of the mystic. Is the form you choose? Yes. Oh shit, shit's, shit's happening. And there we go, we're falling. Let's go to the next part, shall we? So we just left Snow White's um, little dive area. So the next one is, who is that? That's Cinderella. So we're on Cinderella's little dive now. Oh, you've gained the power to fight. All right, let's do this. Press X to attack. We did it. All right, you've got it. Use this power to protect yourself and others. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to sit down for... The green gouge displays your hit, hit points, HP, or health. If you run out of HP, you'll be taken to the continue screen. The blue gouge shows your magic points, MP. Magic is still a mystery to you. Yes, it is. There'll be times you have to fight. Keep your light burning strong. All right. So that's it. You gain experience points by defeating enemies. With enough experience, you'll gain a level. Furthermore, defeating enemies sometimes leaves items behind. You will take these items by walking up to them. Different items can do different things, like restore HP or MP. So, behind you. And then my phone goes off. So, generally you'll automatically target the nearest enemy. You can lock on a specific target by pressing R1. Lock on will appear, blah blah blah, we all know how to lock on. Lock on. So let's collect all these real quick. Come here, bitch. Come here, little bitch. Yeah! Got him. So now we're going somewhere else. Oh, Cinderella's dive is disappearing. We're getting sucked down into something. 
No. Uh. So we're just gonna again like this is a pilot episode. I'm gonna see how this all works, see how you guys like it, and decide from there what we're gonna do. But uh, you know, I may do post play audio. Um, I'm trying out this audio right now to see how it sounds. So. Let me know what you guys think if you're watching it. Um, the, this is a field icon that pops up whenever a special camera is available, blah, blah, blah. Hey, examine. I can't open it. Oh, a treasure chest. Yeah. Open that shit up. What do we get? We got a box. You push larger crates. Yeah, I got a potion. This is interesting, we're getting stuff. Lock on to targets, well as enemies. Yeah, open my door. So who's diver are we on now? Let's see. I think we're just on a hard dive, that's weird. Examine the door. Alright. A little bright there. It's a little bright there, Sora. Don't go in there yet. Don't do it! He's going. He's walking in. That's not good. That's never good. So, where are we now? Hold on, the door won't open just yet. First, tell me more about yourself. First person view, Lamo. What's most important to you? Friendship. Total sore right there. Is friendship such a big deal? Hell yeah it is. Look, it's Waka. What do you want out of life? To be strong? Um, this all comes back to you later, so what are you afraid of? Being indecisive. Being indecisive, is that really so scary? You want friendship, you want to be strong, and you're, you're afraid of being indecisive. That is true. Your adventure begins at the dead of night. Your run won't be easy, but a rising sun awaits you. Your journey's end. Right. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna keep going. The day you open the door is both far off and very near. All right. We just keep jumping around right now, poor Sora. So now we're on Aurora's um, little place, Sleeping Beauty. So. Yeah, so since I'm playing Kingdom Hearts, what was your... I know I probably already asked this, but we're going to go over it again. Um, what was your guys' favorite Kingdom Hearts game? And uh, why? If you got it, leave it in the comments below. Um, looks like we're going to have to fight. If you don't know how to fight, you're going to have a bad time. Oh, getting screwed up already. Get over here, punks. Oh, back in the day when games were good and gameplay was smooth and didn't have all this junk around it. Jesus. Okay, pick up the health. Thank you. Where are you, bitch? There you are. Yeah! Where's the other one? There you are. Oh. And uh, who's your favorite Kingdom Hearts character as well? Um, over the years, they've introduced a lot of new people, um, convoluted storyline. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, um, so I'm just going to go straight up tried and true. Um, my favorite character probably has to be Sora. Um, just, yeah, he's the main character, but he also, uh, is pretty cool. He has his issues, but, uh, as you'll see in later games, if you haven't played him yet, then shame on you. Um, 
play these games. Or if you haven't watched a Let's Play on any of the Kingdom Hearts games, then you need to get on it because you're missing a really good franchise. And just because it's Disney doesn't mean anything, really. So, let's see. We don't need to customize anything yet. Config, auto lock on, blah, blah, blah. blah. Cool. So, I don't mean to be mean, but you know, these are games that should be played. Um, I know 1 and 2 are older, and stuff like Recoded and stuff aren't the greatest, but still should be played. Um, so yeah, and this is we're on Bell's Dive now. So, the closer you get to the light, the greater your shadow becomes. Um, my other favorite Disney characters in this game, um, I really liked playing in Kingdom Hearts 2 and Simba's World. The Tron worlds are very cool. Um, don't be afraid. And it's a big giant heartless. Um, and don't forget. So, yeah. So basically my two favorite actual main characters are Sora and Roxas, even though Roxas technically isn't even a main character. He's, uh, but yeah, he's only a, well, he, yeah, he's got his own game, so I'll give him main character status. Um, he's very important to the storyline. Where are you, punk? Yeah, we want to avoid this at all costs. Yeah. Come here, punk. Punk? Sorry. Getting a little focused there. I apologize for that. Ow. That wasn't very nice. Shit. Pick this stuff up. Just dropped on me. Must have been a little. I like how the game gives you the opportunity to uh, do well in it. Ah, come on. Come on, hit the arm. It's right there in front of you. Ugh. Just keep running. Ah. This is not good. This is not good. This is getting annoying. Hit him. Come on. Okay, we're just gonna use our potion. Goody, shut up. Come on. That's right, punk. I'm gonna keep blasting you. Yeah! Take that! Biatch! Oh, shit's going down. We're falling into the darkness. This is not good. It's a creepy looking guy. I'm not gonna lie. Don't be afraid. You hold the mightiest weapon of all. So don't forget. You are the one who will open the door. It's pretty cool. Pretty in-depth right there. So, uh... Yeah! 
So now I guess that's the that's the whole tutorial thing. So let's get to the actual main storyline. So cool, we're waking up. What's up, Sora? Good morning. Nice beach. Looks like we're in the Caribbean. I don't know, Sora. You tell me. Yes, sure. Say, Kyrie, what was your hometown like? You know, where you grew up? I told you before. I don't remember. Mm. Nothing. Ominous. Wrong. Nothing. You never want to go back. Mm. Well, I'm happy here. Hmm. Really? But you know, I wouldn't mind going to see it. I'd like to see it too, along with any other worlds out there. I want to see them all. So what are we waiting for? Hey, aren't you guys forgetting about me? So, I guess I'm the only one working on the raft. <laughs> and oh, you're just freaking. as lazy as me is. <laughs> so you know it. Okay, we'll finish it together. I'll raise you. Huh? What? Are you kidding? Ready? Go! So yeah, this game's pretty much all about friendship and the whole series about light and darkness. It's about being in pairs of three, really. Um, I'm not going to spoil anything again. If you haven't played the games and you don't want to know, then I'm not going to tell you. I will say spoiler alert so you can turn down the volume at this point because mostly everybody should know about Kingdom Hearts. Um, and if you don't, I'll say shame on you again. Shame on you! I'm just kidding. If you don't know about it, this is a good way to get into it by watching it. So we're at the Destiny Islands. Cool. So I decided that I was just going to do the tutorial as like my pilot. So now we're going to get started in the actual storyline. So I'm going to leave it here. But do not, do not fret to come back. Come back for episode two. I think this is going to work out for us. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit and come back for episode two, which will be the Destiny Islands.